Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in Artia Imperium Sarectum. And last time, we finally got a little toehold on Greece. We uh, took uh, Alketas, sorry, that's the guy, Githion, should I say, over here. Uh, and we are fighting the Spartans very nicely, indeed. We are continuing our march against Pontus, and I... I doubt they've got more than this, to be honest. I don't think they've got much. And Bactria is very much on its last legs. We will do that battle in a second. But uh, let's go for this, not this one. Let's go for this battle. And let's just auto-resolve it. We don't need to, although they do have a couple of generals. I don't think it's going to be a problem. 228 they killed. Wow, but this army needs to go a long way back for retraining anyway. So, uh, let's take that battle. Let's, uh, enslave as well. And go down to low. And we're actually quite happy. We got a notification from that. We got a retinue extended for Antiochus. Look at that wall. It's quite... It's a long way outside the city, isn't it? It's kind of a... <laughs> a long way away from the actual city. But, anyway. Doesn't really matter. Uh, but let's take this battle. There is a leader in there, the faction leader, Philiskos the Handsome. And just so you guys know, I have recorded this episode already once. And literally, I got right to the end. Very much to the end. And yeah, <laughs> it crashed. Uh, not the game, actually. The game didn't crash. My computer just completely turned off and uh, turned back on. So... I think that may have been an, an update or something that it was trying to do, because it did restart. It didn't just turn off. So, that was a bit unfortunate, but it did corrupt the video as well. Otherwise, I would have just taken an autosave from a turn before or so. But anyway, let's uh, press the end turn. Let's see what's happening. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, press the end turn. We were supposed to do that battle. Well, we'll do it next turn. So... Because I have done this episode before, guys, I am going to... Um, it's going to be a slightly shorter one, should we say. It's not going to be quite as long um, as normal. But that's fine. We're, pl we're pumping plenty of these episodes out recently. So, uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, and you'll get a standard one-hour one next time. Here we go. Uh, we've got a few notifications. Quite a Oh, my God. Loads of people have died. Arhidios. And this is actually something that has changed from last time. Because, of course, this is a chance that they will die. It's not always... Uh... Oh, we had a random general out here in the desert. I remember him. <laughs> it was someone we uh, got that was really old. <laughs> so, apparently, we've only got 129,000 now. Even though it's saying 183,000. What is that? What is it... What is it spending money on? Is it potentially these? But... Uh, yeah, it already spends the money on that. So I wonder what it's spending the money on when we do... When we press the end turn and it's not the amount of money it says it is. Uh, yeah, I really don't know. Let's get that, that in there. And it should be okay next turn. If not, let's queue in a, che uh, a cheeky shrine to Hera as well. Uh, let's go Pecorus. Yeah, well, there's nothing we can do about Pecorus, unfortunately. It's going to riot till the end of time. This one is slightly more scary. So let's have a look around here. Is there anyone we can nab from another nearby settlement? There probably is. Pessimus. So get you in there. Let's see whether that does the trick. Only up to 55%. But well, that's going to be another 5. 60 plus another 5. Uh, 65 plus. I don't think that's an added 5% from what is previous. So, it's going to be really tight still. And then I think probably the best thing, go for another Shrine to Hero. But if we have more people available, let's get them out into uh, Gordion. 60%. I think we'll be okay with that. But I'm not too sure. Faction announcements. Carthage is now the uh, the leading light. So, did we actually build up here? Did we build something, or were we just... Re did we build? Oh, I didn't even I didn't even repair. What am I doing, man? That was stupid. 
It's Scythian native culture. It's got a shrine to Atlas and Amarat. Let's go with our shrine to Hera. It is actually Greek here, which is fantastic. Let's go with the road first. Then we'll go for the shrine to Hera. And then we'll start moving this army out. Don't think there's any point going up here. They're actually unhappy. They've been rioting against the rebels, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> How have the rebels had riots in their own cities? Um, I have no idea. Uh, but let's go down, down here. Let's do this battle. So let's get in there. And there's no point auto-resolving this. Just because it'll probably just kill all these men. And all these men are needed for our conquest into India. So let's get into the battlefield, guys. And I will see you there. Here we are, guys. It is raining, so let's see and go and get it sunny. That's dusky. Foggy. <laughs> Let's see. What's it going to be? Ah, oh, perfect. On the last try. On the last try. So, let's get rid of all you guys for now. And then, yeah, I think we'll go one in the middle there. We'll go one on the wall there. And we'll go one down here. And then we'll use the Thuriophoroi. I'm going to try and say Thuriophoroi from now on, guys. So, I'm actually saying it right. And again, we don't have the banners on or the firing arcs on. So I'm going to try and say Thurio 4 right for when we get into the next uh, <laughs> the next uh, era of the videos in 0.6. Just so I'm not saying Thuroporoi anymore. I don't know why I always said that, but I always have. And there's actually no reason for me to say that. Because it's not right. <laughs> it doesn't even, it's not even spelt like that. So, I don't know why I've been saying it that way, but I just have. So, get the archers forward. I'm hoping we can do most of this battle with the horse archers and the archers, but we shall see. How close are you? Let's get a bit further forward. Is that a horse archer or a normal archer? I think it's a normal archer. Not killing any of our, arch uh, our horse archers right now with our friendly fire. And then we're just going to get our worst troops in, like the th Thuriophoroi and the Hoplites. So we'll get you there, ready to fire as well. We'll also maybe get the Agira speed. If we can get the Agira speeders like here, they might be able to fire over the walls as well. Uh, but mainly want to try and do this with our cavalry, to be honest. So, yeah, get in then. Yes. Fire your javies, my men. Glorious. Oh, we don't. Ah, that's the wrong guy. It deselected the men. We'd like you to go there as well. Let's get you guys there. And horse archer time. Let's get you in if you can. There we are. Let's also get our general in as well. Get the Agira Speeders in there as well. Which way they're going? No, 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 no. Round this way. Did the Thurio 4 fire any of their Javis? Actually, nope. They did not. So it may be worth getting you in there. You guys come this way. I want to try to block these boys in. Is the other cavalry coming? You're going the wrong way, my man. Come on. Don't be silly, sir. Don't be silly. The Gira Speeders have used their their Javis right now. I want you guys to fire into the Peltas there. I want you guys to go this way. Right, Horse Archers and Cavalry. Let's get you this way. See if we can break this uh, Thuroporoi. Thurio Foroi, god damn it. <laughs> I think these Gira Speeders can have a bit of fun as well. So I want you to go there. Can we pr maybe break them just with pressure? Probably not. Let's come back this way and let's have a go at the uh, Philoskos the Handsome. Now, if you remember, guys, we killed like two generals in the uh, the other battle. And these Median horse archers, Median guys there as well. Right, let's get into that fight anyway. Uh, so, Bactria may get regicided by this, but I'm not 100% certain. Hopefully it doesn't, because when the 
they get regicided, they end up having much bigger garrisons than what is really out there. So let's go kill Phyllis Goss. Oh, he's running. He's running. There's only a few of them, though. So let's get round this way. And uh, let's go for that. Who is that in that there? Wait, all three of you. Are you stupid, guys? Honestly. Like, why did you go this way? Through the 304, right? What imbeciles, man? Right, let's get back up here. Bit annoying that they've got some 304 right on there as well. Let's get the Agira Speeders in here as well. They can do such a large amount of damage for the boys. Should be able to break these boys with that charge. Come on, kill them. Distraught over the number of enemies. Let's speed it up. Yeah, broke them fully. Right, let's go get all the cavalry into here now. And they can actually start firing into the center. And we'll just block off anyone from coming here. Get the melee cavalry can go at the back. And then the horse archers kind of want you there. Ideally. And they're going to come. Where did that general guy go? Kill the Greek Peltas. Kill them. Shouldn't be a problem. There he is. So horse archers. Where's the other horse archers? God damn it. <laughs> Where are they going? We've got these Greek hoplites. We've hardly lost anyone so far. Nice. Good. Good. Are they firing? Like, come on. Are you firing? They kind of are firing, but not amazingly. Let's go fight them. Right, men. Into the Greek Peltas. They should not be a problem. Same with you. And, uh, yeah, let's speed it up. That is Phileskos dead. The Greek Peltas should not be a problem. These guys, I think you can still probably fire at the Greek Peltas, and it's not going to be too much of a worry. Yeah, I don't mind a bit of friendly fire, to be honest. Let's go. Right, now we can get these boys into there. And let's stop you boys from firing. Don't fire, don't fire. There we are. Get the three or four right. Nice, there we are. Let's hope we don't kill the general. Nice, that's it. Easy, boys. Easy victory. 188 we lost, which is actually quite surprising. Was not expecting quite so many. Uh, but, yeah, it's just a general 30 across all the infantry units we really used. And a, a few of the horse archers as well. But no problem whatsoever. Good victory against the Bactrians. Back to the campaign map. Here we are. And oh, Alexandria Caucasia. Oh, and it did, unfortunately, kill the Bactrians. Oh, well. So that means now that this settlement will have a garrison. Yeah. And it's a decent one as well. Oh, that's a little bit painful, I've got to say. Let's now see whether we can bring these guys to garrison up here so we can send the majority of these troops home. There's no one big enough in here to garrison at all. And I don't want to, you know, take away all that experience. We do want to, you know, save as many of those troops as possible. So whether they will come out and attack us, I don't know. I think we'd be able to do a, a decent job of fighting that army if they decide to come out. Because they don't really have any infantry. It's mainly slingers and peltas. But without cavalry, it's going to be a tough job against the horse archers. The Sogdian heavy horse archers, which are quite good. Not as good as you might expect, but they're still quite good. Let's have a look. Oh, Kios has expanded. That's less important right now. Then Bactria has been destroyed, my friends. Bactria is dead. So Antioch just finished building that, but we also not recruited a cataphract in there. How is Pergamon doing? Are we still recruiting in Pergamon? We are. What about Sardis? Yes, we are still recruiting there as well. Fantastic. Um, now, like I say, I have... Did I say this last episode? This is the problem when you have an episode that gets wiped. Um, I have looked on the Toggle Fog of War to find where the Ptolemies are. Because them not dying when we took this means they still exist. 
And I haven't looked at anything else. I literally just looked in this region on the minimap. And they're in here somewhere. And if you see, there's like a road down here, which I'm assuming will connect to it. And I think we've actually got a spy somewhere around Yeah, I don't know where. Uh, let's have a look on the agent screen. Saba. So that's all the way down south there. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get you up that way. Uh, let's go through all the spies anyway. Get them moving. Bowl on over here. Oh, he's, yeah. So what we want to do in India is find like a a big city or a city somewhere that we can use as a recruitment hub. And Taxilla here is a minor city. So what we're going to do when we've taken... I mean, I'm honestly not even that bothered about taking Auto Sparna. What do they have in there? Probably not much, though. Let's go straight for it. I think the Greek hoplites will be fine uh, managing that settlement. Not that we want them to be a management item at all, really. Uh, but let's get them in there anyway. And I kind of want to start recruiting... Let's get you on low. Oh, just about. want to start recruiting a bit of a garrison army here. So we'll get four of those boys from Daraspa. You're also going to come down this way. So Bactria is dead, so they're no longer a threat at all, which is fantastic for us. So what we do, when we've taken um, Autospana, we're going to skip out these cities and just go straight for Taxilla and build that into a recruitment hub. And then we'll start m uh, merging the land coming up here and around here to take these. Then we'll have a recruitment hub in this region because it, the Indus Valley is so rich, guys. There's so many people. But we were going through all our spies, weren't we? But you in Melatine... What are you doing? You're literally doing not much. The thing is, we've got map information from Armenia, so we do actually know where all their settlements are, which is great for us. Let's go straight for this one. It's literally got nothing in it. Good. And like I say, guys, going into the... Let's actually uh, just use the elephants. They inflicted zero casualties. Very good. We'll take that. Um, but like I say, guys, going forward with the armies... I'm probably going to take not a Gira Speed as Pikeman. Because I've used Pikeman. <laughs> I've used Phalangites for so long. And I'm kind of sick of using them. Um, Pikeman, like, Phalangites are one of those things. If they work well, they work so, so well. They absolutely shred. But you have to spend so much time microwing them so much. And, uh, yeah, I can't be bothered. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'd rather just smash your armies to pieces with heavy infantry, you know. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> uh, which we can do. At this point. We were going through all the spies. I've got distracted again. A chaos. Where are you? You're there. You're actually purple. You're a purple purple. Let's get you up there to have a look at what they're doing around there. I'm not too bothered. You're in Antiochia, Migdonia. Wait. Oh, yeah, we've got we got some spies in here, didn't we? That's what they are. So you were going that way. All right, let's uh, come up this way. Have a look at what they've got going on. Uh, are you moved? Fantastic. Uh, Gangra, which is definitely, you know, not that useful. Your... You go up through that way. We've got lots of spies on this front. Let's have a look. Krateros. Yeah, you're just having to go and see if they've got any... This is Sarka land now, and Sarka actually does border us. That does scare me a bit, because I really do not want Sarka to attack us. That would be pretty terrible, I've got to say. Uh, and that's why we've got to still keep building up recruitment hubs in this region. Uh, no point not. You go down through that way, just to check. There's no cities. I think we do know the lay of the land in this region, though, quite a bit already. I was sure that we had a general. Not a general. I was sure that we had a, a spy in the desert somewhere. I, I, I'm absolutely sure. Yes, master. But I guess not. <laughs> 
I guess not. Let's keep uh, an eye on Pontus over here. Maybe it's that last spy. Oxy Rink. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Oh, he's there. He's there. Right, my friend. Your job is to come down this road because I think it's down here somewhere. It's going to take you a while to get there. But that's no problem, my friend. No problem whatsoever. Right. Uh, let's have a look at what else we can move. So, Pontus has this army here now. Um, so, I think we should go and kill them. I think that's the best option for us. Let's get out of Amicia for now. Let's get you into Amicia. And let's think about how we want to do this. Because it looks a bit hilly. And I don't want to give them free reign. Do we have games here? No. Uh, well, I think we'd still be able to move after this, wouldn't we? So let's get on top of the hill probably would be the best option for this battle. This could be terrible. It could be a huge... Uh, battle for them, but <laughs> it's fine. Same with uh, Zel Comana Pontos over here. Actually, you, Mr. Elephant, you should go back to Antioch for retraining. No point keeping three singular elephants around, is there? Uh, where's the music gone? I've noticed this a bit recently. So, if I mute and then unmute, well, mute, confirm, unmute, confirm, it should start again. But I have noticed that I think the end of last episode as well, the music just stopped completely. Right, let's uh, come down here and let's have a little cheeky look at what's going on in this city. Um, can we see the city, please? Uh, okay, <laughs> we'll take it. Well done, Rebels. Very clever. Very clever. Well done. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that was abandoned. Uh, and it's quite a nice little city as well. Got some roads. Um, yeah. Well, fantastic. I'm happy with that anyway. This is a tiny little region. I do think that that is Pont Pontus's last stand. Right. Have we got the big boys up here yet? No. You're coming up this way. You're going back to Antioch, aren't you? So how much is Tuion making now? 1,800. It just looks like a lot of trade. But I think Amicia is quite rich. 4,200. Wow. Uh, we've got a couple of boys in there. We want to swap out you at some point. You're fine. Um, It's on 100%. It's definitely not going to be good enough. We need to wait that singular turn for this to get done. And then we'll be fine. We can put it on games or whatever. Whatever games it wants. Whatever games it wants to play, we can stick it on. So I think that's all the movement we really want to do around here, isn't it? Let's look at Greece then now. This is what we've got to do now, guys. We've got to go through everywhere, compartmentalize it. Uh, are we still recruiting there? Yes, we've already looked at that, haven't we? You're going to join someone. Let's just get you up and around this region somehow, somewhere. You're joining one of these armies, my friend. The elephants are on the march. So, yeah, we've got, is that, have they got more troops in there? I don't actually know. Um, and then weren't we, where are our navies? You're coming back. Were we recruiting anywhere some of these Akontisti boys? Where were we doing that? Or was that something I did last time? I think it might have been something I did last time. So let's get two there, two there. Can we get in here? Yeah, well, we can get the Greek Peltas. They're not quite as good. I think they're a bit more expensive. They do have more men in there. It's fine. Let's get a couple of those. So we got six. Can we recruit here? No. Here? No. No. Well, six should be enough. Oh, we'll get two there as well. Eight of the boys for that should be enough anyway. So you're going to just chill out in the port here, waiting for those garrison troops to come of age. So that's fantastic. We'll do that. Uh, and yeah, this ship, we're going to come back. What we're going to do is we're going to, because we can't get through this way, we have to go round. We're going to jump them across on the ships if we can, uh, while we siege down Sparta. I just don't want to take all the damage of that wall. Also, what do we have? Why? God damn it. Why have I just built rams? 
That's dumb as hell, man. <laughs> Let's get some uh, sap points. I don't even know if any of these troops can sap. Probably these guys. It doesn't actually say they can. not These guys can sap. These guys can also sap. Why can't you guys sap? Ah. Anyway. And also, we lost a lot of uh, chariots in that last battle. Wow. A supreme amount of chariots. The music's gone again. What is happening? Why does the music keep stopping, man? It's hard to notice, but when it does, it does. There must be one of the screens that's stopping the music. So we've taken that. Right, let's do all our building first, and then I will bless you with this battle against Pontus, my friends. So Antioch, let's go with... I think we go with the Academy, while we've got the guy there. Uh, Jerusalem got the Great Agora. Let's go for the stable trick in everywhere we can do. Get the 15% law for free. Well, it's not for free, for, for not very much. Deliche, I think, because you're not Greek yet, let's go for the Greek conversion. We've got to be careful with our money, because we only started with about 100,000. So, we're probably just going to build the cheapest stuff we can. 600 for the Odeon here, because of this guy. Asphalion. What a beast. 600. Let's take that, definitely. Harmosia got the stable trick. Well, let's go for the practice range trick this time. Apamea Regiana. Um, I think same stables trick. And it's cheap as well. Iasonion. Let's go for those public baths for a bit of extra growth. Uh, Arcadia Heraclea. Stables trick, of course. Uh, Syrinx Tambrax. Stables trick, of course. we have got to just smash that in every way we can, really, guys. So I know it's a bit cheap, but it's a good way of getting lore into our cities right now. Um, let's go for that market. It's nice and cheap with this guy. So, yeah, let's get that market. Kios. Let's go for the stables trick. Stables everywhere. We're breeding a lot of horses suddenly out of nowhere. Let's go for the uh, uh, the trade caravan for Sidon. Definitely. They're, they're always incredibly powerful. See how many, uh, how much? 873, man. Woo. Nope, we're not doing the list. We're not doing the list. <laughs> uh, Ptolemaeus Foynike. Let's get the academy in there while we've got a guy there who can use it. Stables trick for Nidos, of course. Very nice. And it's got a big port in there now. Go for stables at Gadara. Telmesos, same thing. So what we did with the uh, the execution squares, we're pretty much now doing the same with military buildings, guys. In case you want to know the tactic. So we're just getting that, that extra bit of lore into the cities. So we might have to get some cheaper buildings as well across the way. That was Soloi, wasn't it? Alexandria. Not much in Alexandria we can really worry about too much. So let's just get the Odeon. Keep everyone happy. Make them all very happy. I always thought that with, like, uh, public order, I wish you could tie the more public order to more taxes or something like that. That'd be so cool. Uh, I mean, there's nothing in rows we really want. Uh, more grain imports for more population growth. Like, none of that is, is worthwhile. Let's get, well, our first elite tax building we'll make. It's the actually only the worthwhile one there, so... <laughs> that's why I'm actually making it, guys. <laughs> I've not gone away from my ways, but uh, yeah, that is the only one that we actually have. Actually, while you have a governor who only has one management, let's make sure we get a, get that crocodile on the crocodile state. Let's go for the stables, the bit of law. Uh, Hermupolis over here. Let's go for the Odeon. Delos. Uh, Delos can probably get maybe the secret police HQ. I do think that gives a bit of extra, no, uh, just happiness with the wooden wall. Well, let's just get it. It looks better, doesn't it, than the, the crappy palisade. So let's go for the public baths in Alexandria Susia. Let's also go for that in Hibis. Get a bit of population growth in some of these places. Uh, and happiness, of course. Zella, let's get the sewers, because I think that's, that is a full... Actually, no, we've got a general guy in there, so let's get the academy. Palmyra, let's get the stables. 
Megale, Apollon, uh, Apollona, Papolis, they get already something. Elephantine, let's go for the Odeon. Uh, Halicarnassus, let's go for the Stables trick. <laughs> Metropolis, let's go for the... Uh, we've got some good population growth here, actually. Very nice, so let's go for the Execution Square. Antiochia, Oikodomon. Again, nothing we can really build here. But what I will do is I'll build that recruitment hub just because if we need extra uh, troops on that island to garrison, it's good to have one or two recruitment hubs there just in case we do need that. Nosos, let's go for the paved roads. They're actually useful for now. And Kira, let's go again for the paved roads. They're very useful in Ankira because it's quite rich. Uh, and it will get richer, and also for troops traversing this area, because, yeah, we really need the speed in this region. Let's go for the Shrine to Hera in Tuion. Kauris, let's go for the Shrine to Havistus. Kaidonia, Stables Trick. This one, Bereniki Trod Trogloditike. That one's the one halfway down, isn't it? Let's go for the Stables. Daraspa, Daraspa's very un unhappy. Go for the Shrine to Hera straight away. Get that in there. Heraclea Pontos. Hmm. Heraclea Pontos. Stables trick. <laughs> Gangra. Same. Military buildings for the boys. Uh, Antiochia Scythia over here. Very far up in the north. Let's go for the public baths. Maruka. Let's go for the sewers there as well. So Samos, let's just get what we can that's cheap. Temple of Hera. Oxiana, let's again get whatever is cheap because otherwise we're not going to be able to, affair, uh, to buy anything. So let's go for the trade income at Bactria Bisalion. Sinope, let's get the third temple as well. Pimolisa, let's go for the paved roads, although it's not a very big region, is it? Hmm. Just get the sewers then. Githion. Uh, Githion is that one. So we do did manage to save 10,000. I do just want to check that we are building everywhere. Because there's, oh, there's all these down here that we're not building in. Uh, so, yeah, let's go for the Shrine to Hera there. Alexandria Caucasia. We need to r repair that. And then let's get Rhodes straight away. Nymphios. Over there. We need to repair all of this. Do we want to get rid of the trying to Anna hit? Yeah. It didn't even affect the uh, the public order. So let's go straight with the Shrine to Hero there. And then Karasus. You. We've just taken you. So let's upgrade you. Apparently you need upgrading. And that's everywhere. Fantastic. And we still had 7,000 to spare. Right. Let's get into this battle then, guys. What do they have? I, I think this is a spawned-in army, is it not? This must be a spawned-in army. They've got horse archers, which we have... We've got a few Greek archers, which is fine. So we should be able to deal with them. But the horse archers are going to be a pain. The infantry shouldn't be too much of a problem. I hope the battle map is okay. I guess we'll find out. I will see you there, guys. <laughs> I have no idea what that was and why I just did it. But anyway, it's going to be a bit of an annoying battle map because of the trees. Um, but we did do this battle on the last episode, guys. And there were trees on... I, that's why I chose a slightly different battle map to what we did there. What I'm going to try and do, though... And there was a lot of trees on that one as well. I'm going to try a little different tactic is... Oh, you need to be with these boys is have the phalangites at the front then move around with the other boys as we get going group them together so that they will have to fight the phalangites because like we've seen before guys they hate the phalangites don't they they absolutely despise them looks like they're moving away with their uh, uh, with their cav so let's come forward Looks like they're going to try and face us with their own cav. Let's uh, get all these guys off that and running. Go, 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 go. We've got our cav nearby, which is great. 
Oh, we're taking a bit of a battering here. Looks like, are they going for the charge? Because if they do, that's fantastic. That's what we like to see, man. God, they, they've got an absolute horde of cav, haven't they? An absolute horde. Look at the archers just absolutely taking it, man. <laughs> Poor archers. Here they come. They're following it up. And unfortunately, I cannot see a thing. Uh, but let's get all these boys on that. Are they going to run? No, they're going for the fight. Let's go. Guys, what is that charge? That was terrible. Okay, that's their general dead. Go, go, go. Straight into the horse archers. I don't care about anyone else. Right then, out of here. Out of here. Now we've got to see what's going on. Cannot see a thing. Oh, General as well, please. Oh, General didn't even get in that fight. That's fine. I don't mind that. Right then, men. Let's go and engage them. I can't stand here taking this all day. Where's the rest of their infantry? They are coming. So it might be worth... Well, I do want to get out of these goddamn trees. So let's move forward. Run as well. And again, let's get... All our men in behind. There we are. I don't know what they're doing with this Cappadocian cavalry. But whatever it is, it's annoying. Because I hate missile cab with a passion. Now we're a bit more open. I can actually see a bit better. So they are going straight for the charge with the Pontic Guards. Good. Finally. We've managed to force the AI to come in and engage our phalangites. Now we just need the, their phalangites to engage us. Then we can spring our little whoop loop around the sides. Uh, I don't know what those uh, skirmishes and archers are doing. Um, well, you guys, let's get you here. Cavalry, let's bring you up the hill. Taking a lot of damage from the cavalry there, from the, all the, uh, the archers and stuff. So what is going on here? Where? I think that's their whole army now. There's some guy. It must be that cavalry there that's slightly disconnected. Uh, I mean, I don't think... One of these guys is riot, riot, uh, routing already. Wow. Are you going to charge now? Kind of just want to wait to see what happens with their... With their phalangites. Because they need to get their phalangites into the fight. And then we can spring our little trap. Still can't deal with their cavalry though. That's the main issue though. Uh, right. Well let's get these boys up here. Uh, not you actually. Stay there. Yeah. The rest of you. Th you lot though. Right. And then you lot. Apart from the, the singular archer. Can come here. So they are going in for the fight with the phalangites against the phalangites. That's always good to see. Looks like it might work, this little tactic. You are just so slow, aren't you, men? You are absolute slugs. Slugs of the highest order. At least you are good slugs and not bad slugs. Nobody likes a bad slug. Anyway, let's speed it up because I don't know what's going on. Like, what are these... The Spido Foroy are doing. Stop being fools, fools. So they're just like running. Like, where are they going? Like, why? Right, let's uh, let's try and catch them. Go, 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 go. Same with these boys. Let's try and catch some of these fools. What is that? Just all their cavalry just running away. Lovely. That's what we like to see. I love it when their cavalry just runs away. Fantastic. Always fun. Really fun. Yes. Run away, Missile Cav. This is why I hate them. <laughs> Absolutely despise them. There we are. We've got those boys now. Keep running, cavalry. Keep running. So, let's go down now. You guys get in there. We're going to get you two behind them. And, yeah, we'll probably get you in there. And then we'll just protect our flank with these boys here. 
So I don't want them coming in and just charging us. They're already rioting. Rioting? Routing, should I say. <laughs> you guys get there. You guys get there. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on, you need to come forward slightly. There we are, that's better. Let's go. It's working out all right. Like, especially against their Chalka Speeders. Well, their cavalry's still just there. Like, they're just being annoying. Let's get into line then. Okay, have we routed the guards? We have routed the guards. Nice. So get in the Freedman Phalangites then. You guys keep coming. Okay, this is where the Phalangites work really well. <laughs> so unsurprisingly, when you actually use them well. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Who would have known? When you use them terribly, they perform terribly. A bad workman blames his tools, of course. But anyway. Let's speed it up. I don't know what their cavalry is doing. Whatever it's doing is highly annoying. Are they finally going to go for the charge yet? No. Oh, here we go. This might... I mean, this is a Spido 4. They're actually cavalry that likes to fight. Come on. Catch him. Catch him. That's it. They should turn now. Good. And we should beat them. Quite easily. Good. Catch them. No, they're running. God damn it. <laughs> Incredibly annoying. Let's get them. Can we catch them? Are they all going to withdraw? That would be incredibly annoying. Go, 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 go. Go! Why have you run the wrong way? You imbeciles. I think we might catch them because they're tired. Fantastic. Yes. So we surrounded these boys. They should be a bit upset. Oh, now they're all facing us now. Which is not great. Uh, well... These boys, let's get out. We don't want to be fighting those boys face to face. Let the phalangites do that. Where's the cav? Oh, they're having a field day. Let's go. It's our time, boys. We've caught them. They're withdrawing. Well, withdraw then, you fools. Nice. That's it. Let's get them. Go, go, go. We're catching them. Yes. Yes, kill them. Kill them all. Get them. Oh, these poor uh, these poor Chalka Speeders have taken an absolute battering against the Freedmen and Phalangites. Come on. Let's go. Oh, we've broken one. Yes. Now let's get out. And we can let the cavalry do the rest. So, uh, right, cavalry. Time to mop up some more troops. Good. And, uh, oh, we killed them as well. Good. Let's get into the back of there. Hopefully, we can make them break. How many have we killed now? Says about the right amount. Let's go. Kill all them. Now kill all them. Good. Now let's go after those. I think we'll be okay. I think we've killed enough there. Oh, that's going to be close, but it should be enough. General's bodyguard doing well. Yeah, it's an all right result. One of the Chalka Speeders did amazing, but no one else. <laughs> but anyway, fantastic battle. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Victory and honor, honor my friends. Victory and honor. So let's dump one of these boys outside the city. And then let's get the rest of the army back into the city when we will have, I believe, an Odeon. Are we getting an Odeon in here? No, we're just getting a load of uh, <laughs> a load of these boys to come and uh, sort it all out. So, uh, and Dragorasta Handsome is a superior commander now. What a man. What a glorious man. Uh, I also think it's definitely worth... So, we have Ariathon, Antiochia Oikodomon, which is uh, Antio uh, Antiochus the Builder, named after the Builder. 
Ariathon named after Ariathus, who was also an amazing commander. We've got Eumenion after Eumenes. We've got Andragorion, but Nossos. Um, I'm thinking we uh, we name it after Antiochus the Angry because as much as his reign has been violence, chaos, and uh, you know oppression, he has expanded the realm by quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. So we're gonna go Antioch uh, here, Antiochia. Thy more menon, which I believe Thymon menon, which means anger. Well, Thymon menos, I think, means the angry. So, Anti Antioch Antiochus the angry. Well, we could go Thymon menos Ante Antiochia, but Antioch Antioch and Antiochia seem always before the 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 rest of the name. So. We've got Antiochia Thymomenon as well now. Now we just need two spots, and hopefully one of them can be called Diadoton or something like that in future. Uh, he's a four-star commander already after his first battle. Uh, we've got Alketas here as well, who's quite a good commander, but I don't think he's had too many battles. We do also have, so you are, and Dragoras, of course. Uh, you are Aeces. We do need to name something after Aeces. Although he's got no command. Wait, Antiochus Zabinas. Zabinas. His name has changed now. Zabinas. He is teetotal as well. Where has that come from? I don't know what Zabinas means. If someone knows what that means. He's a dreamer as well. Seeing the good in everything. <laughs> um... Okay, I, that kind of doesn't really go with the rest of his traits. He's a respected Greek as well. He is revered and respected among Greeks. Of course he is now, because he's the king. Hard worker. Passionate. I'm going to have to go and look up what Zabinas means. Unless we've got a thing in here about it. Oh, Zabinas. This man is the black sheep of the dynasty, and people suspect him not to be a true descendant of the generals of Alexander. People call him the bought one. Oh my god. Game, you have given us an absolute gift. That is so, so, so appropriate for this man. I couldn't think of a more appropriate name. So it's So we'll name this after his early exploits, Antiochia Thoimomenos, Thoimomenon. Well, let's have Antiochia Zabina. Or oh, let's just call it Zabinas. There we are. No, let's call it Antiochia Zabinas. We've got a name. You know, if... If you're an ancient Greek, guys, then, uh... Of course you have to name everything after yourselves. I mean, how many Alexandrias are there? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's got to be named after yourself, hasn't it? Uh, but anyway... Let's, uh, I think we're going to end there then, guys. It's been a good episode, so I hope you have enjoyed. Maybe a little bit shorter than usual. But like I said, it was going to be a slightly shorter one. But thank you very much for watching. And we didn't get a crash this time. Now I've just got to remember to save it. <laughs> uh, so I'll remind myself of that in a sec. But if you have enjoyed, guys, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.